Chapter 28 The monster's watery yellow eyes grew wide with surprise. His bloated lips parted. I could see two pink tongues start and coil inside his mouth. A few of the kids dropped their hoses and mops and flattened themselves on the floor. Others turned to stare at me. Stop washing him! I cried. Put down your hoses and brushes. Stop working and hit the floor. Beside me, Elia uttered gasping sounds. I glimpsed him struggling to keep the sick smell from overpowering him. King Joe Jem let out a furious roar as the rest of the kids obeyed my instructions. Thick white slime dripped from his nose. His two tongues flicked out between his purple lips. Stay down! I screamed to the kids. Get flat! And then I saw the monster raise a fat purple arm. With a disgusting groan, he leaned over. His slimy flesh rippled all over his body as he reached out. Reached out to grab Alicia. Help! He's going to eat me! Alicia shrieked. She started to get up. No! I shrieked. Stay down! Stay flat! With a terrified cry, Alicia dropped back to the floor. King Joe Jam swung his fat hand down, fumbled over her, tried to lift the little girl up, tried again, again. But I figured, right, the monster's fingers were too big, too clumsy to pick up anyone who lay flat on the floor. King Jello Jam tilted his hand back and uttered a roar of disgust. I cut my hand over my nose, and the disgusting odor grew more intense. Snails pop, pop, popped out of his skin, roved down his slimy body, bounced noisily onto the floor. The monster flailed his arms. He leaned down again and struggled to pick up some other kids, but they pressed themselves flat on the floor. He couldn't lift them. He roared again, weaker this time. His eyes rolled wildly in his enormous head. The smell burned my eyes. It swirled around me, surrounding me in a sour stench. King Joe Jim grabbed for a hose, couldn't pick it up. He slammed his head into a bucket, struggled frantically to plash water on himself. I stood trembling, watching every move. My plan was working. I knew it would work. It had to work. The stench grew even stronger. I could taste it. I could smell it on my skin. King Joe Jem flailed both arms. Frantically, he struggled to wash himself. His roars became groans. His body began to shake. I gasped as he narrowed his eyes at me. He raised a swollen purple finger and pointed, accusing me. He leaned forward, reached out, swiped out his enormous hand. I couldn't move. I was too stunned. I shuddered. His hand slid over me, and before I could struggle, he began to tighten his slimy, stinking fingers around my body.